What's up, everybody? Chris Arpin here at Coast Airbrush today to talk to you guys a little bit about creating a candy base coat finish with the Createx family of colors. Every great finish starts with the foundation, and the Autoborn sealers are a perfect product for that. It's a color-keyed, non-catalyzed primer sealer. I already have a little bit in my PPS cup, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce it with the 4012 reducer. Just about 10% is typically all you need. You can refer to the AutoGear user guide on the Createx website if you want more information, but typically what we're saying is about 10%. You can adjust that to shop conditions if you're spraying in a booth or spraying open air. You obviously just want to reduce according to those conditions. So we've got about 10% in the cup. Make sure you really stir it up good. You really want this reducer to emulsify that sealer. So typically at least one minute. The more you stir it, the better it's going to be. All right, I got this going here. I'm going to put the top on the cup. Get that ready to go. Grab my Iwata LPH 400, the LVX cap. This is a 1-4 tip, so it's perfect for spraying the sealer. I'm going to go get some on the panel. OK, I'm putting the first coat down. As you can see, its coverage is excellent. Uh, we're at about 70 degrees right now, so we're going to wait about 5 to 10 minutes before we do our second coat. Uh, as soon as that goes matte, you're ready for the second coat. Okay, so we're back here. Uh, I'm going to mix up some candy base coat to go over the sealer. Uh, it's been about a half an hour. The panel is bone dry. And at this point, if you wanted to nib any dust or imperfections, it's dry enough that you can sand that and it powders up great. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and mix up our base coat. So now it's a candy pearl. Now anybody that's familiar with a candy, you guys know that it's really tough to spray and have it come out even. So mixing a pearl into that candy gives you the same effect, but it's a little more forgiving. It's easier, repairs are a lot easier, and you still get a great looking finish. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it up, and I'm going to add some 4030. Now the 4030 was originally made for the candy pearl, or for the candy, I mean. Uh, we found out that by mixing the 4030 throughout the whole Createx line in about 10% is fantastic. It increases the flow. It performs like a urethane. It dries faster. It's tapable very quick. It doesn't leave tape tra trace marks. It doesn't leave any issues behind. It takes the tack out of the surface. It's a phenomenal product. OK, so the candy pearl I'm going to do is two parts candy to one part pearl. Now we color keyed everything. This is Process Blue Sealer, Carib Blue Candy, and the Auto Air Blue Pearl. So everything is going to go now nice and simple. We got great coverage, probably three coats of this, and it's going to look fantastic. There's no reason that we have to layer everything up and build up mill thicknesses. That's going to decrease dry times and create more problems. So this is going to be an awesome looking finish with the least amount of steps to get that killer look. So I got about two parts right now, Candy. I'm going to go one part pearl. Make sure you shake these up really good, too, before you start mixing. So I'm going to go one part pearl. And I'm going to go about 20% of the inner coat. Now, we say 10% across the board, but there's no reason you can't go more. That's about 20%. And now 10% reduction of that overall mix right about there. So again, like I said before, you got to make sure you really stir this stuff up. The longer you stir it, the better it's going to be. So I'm going to get this back in my LPH. And we're going to go in the booth and put some color down. OK, we're back to put the first coat of base down, this time with a 1-2 tip. Uh, it's about 70 degrees out, so we're going to wait 5 to 10 minutes between coats. And I'm going to put down about four coats until I'm happy with the finish. OK, here we are with another rendition of basically the same color that we just applied on our panel. Uh, one side, the lighter side, is just the sealer blue with a lot of highlight interference over. You can really see the difference. It's way lighter than the candy pearl mix on the other side. But you can see when we turn it in the sun, it picks up that little glisten, and that's what the highlight pearl is supposed to be doing. OK, we're back with our panel. Four coats of candy pearl base coat. Uh, looks great. 
It's awesome just the way it is, but if you want to step it up one more, we're going to add a little special effect with the highlight interference. Uh, it'll highlight all the edges and give it a little extra pop. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it up right now. Make sure you shake this really good too. There's a transparent base that's mixed in with this, so you don't want the flake to settle down. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to mix it with some intercoat, the 4030, uh, almost one to one. And after that's mixed, we're going to do another 10% with the 4012 reducer. So I'm going to mix this up, get it in the cup, and we're going to get over the booth and put it down. Okay, here we are putting a coat of the highlight interference over. It's basically an accent pearl. Uh, you can see that I am nowhere near as close as I was before. I'm a little double the distance off the panel and two light coats. If you put this on too heavy, uh, it's going to mute that color that you have underneath and it's not going to look nearly as good as it should. Well, there you have it. Water-based products at their finest. These are the exact same colors I used to do the Candy Cayman project. I had a lot of fun doing it. I know you will too. I'm Chris Arpin. I'll see you next time.